What up, y'all? This is Kareem Riggins. My name is J-Rock. And this is What's In My Bag. We can start with this brother named Wynton Kelly, who was an incredible pianist. I heard him a lot with Miles Davis. His rhythm was incredible, as well as his feel on the piano and his harmonic sense. I think he was just the piano player's piano player. This is one of my favorites, and the fact that it's a reissue, and I haven't seen this record in years, I had to get it. I was asking if he had it before. Oh, definitely, yeah. High school. That's what you were listening to in high school? To this, yeah. I'm going to New York, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yusef Kamal. It's a cross between UK jazz and broken beat house. It's like a mix of that. It's so crazy. The homie Giles Peterson put this out, and uh, I've been looking for it on vinyl. I have an MP3 set of it, but that doesn't really do me any good. It's real good though. It's just like some straight broken beat jazz. It's dope. It's real dope. Stefan Harris, one of my peers, great vibraphonist. I got a chance to play with him a lot. And then this band on this album, I think this is maybe his first album, Black Action Figure. Eric Harlan on drums, Taurus Mateen on bass, who's incredible. Gary Thomas, Greg Osby, Jason Moran, crazy pianist. These are my people right here. So I had to represent Stefan, who recently just played on some of my music. Mm. And I gotta shout him out, cause he's classy. I got a, a Sunraw 45, Saturn, and then, but the B side is uh, Mystery, Mr. Raw. I'm a big Sunraw fan. It's like Tupac. There's never enough Sunraw that comes out. Like every time you turn around, it's something new. And it's just like supposedly unreleased. I doubt it's unreleased, but I like this song. Mystery, and it's like just a crazy piano chord. I think it's that version. Yeah, space chord, so yeah. It's just like, da -da -da, mystery. Mm. And that's all. <laughs> and that's all. <laughs> that's really all they do. <laughs> but I like Sun Ra a lot, and I just buy everything. Shout out to Mad Lib who turned me on to this cat right here. The weirdo music, that's what this is. Is newborn. It's Memphis, Tennessee, right here. Memphis finest. Virtuoso pianist. I think all of the cats respected him from <laughs> <laughs> Oscar Peterson. All of these guys loved him. Um, he was one that could have uh, great dexterity on the piano, left hand and right hand, doing simultaneous lines, linear lines, and he was incredible. And on bass is Ray Brown, Boy. who I got a chance to play with. I'm a big fan of Ray Brown. I've never seen this record, and I'm a big Phineas Newborn fan, so. This is like, African funk is he. I already have this, but I have a, like a Japanese reissue. I wouldn't mind having another one. This is a doon, 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 doon. Not jungle, yeah, this is jungle music. Why not jungle music? <laughs> jungle music, guns and jungle. This isn't high life or funky like Fela. This is more just like some raw African stuff. They didn't have no money for good equipment, so it just sounds muddy. The title track, Moving World, is real dope. Real good. It's a real good album, man. Just funk. Not no Fela shit. Not no disrespect to Fela. This is like just raw, gutter funk. The world is fast moving. The life is all changing. Another one of my favorite musicians, Philly Joe Jones. I've never heard this record, and I've seen it here. Been listening to him since middle school. 
down. Since I was in seventh grade, I found Miles Davis records in the cabinet in my in my mom's crib. I would read the personnel of every record, and I would always see Philly Joe Jones. I'm like, what is this? I gotta check this guy. So I really started to fine tune what he was doing, and he had an incredible concept on just rhythm and soloing and, and using a lot of rudiments in his playing and everything. And he swing, he was just such a hard swinger. I have not heard this yet, but I can't wait to get to the crib to hear that. I don't know what this is, but I buy gospel, a lot of gospel records. It's called uh, Let This Be A Lesson To You, Drunk Driver. Mm. Look at the cover. I need that, man. Seven minutes. Woo. So That's yeah, it might be a yeah, it might be all right. Let this be a lesson to you, drunk driver. But uh, be Ellison got a little Curtis Mayfield cover on here. It might have one good little something on it. It's gonna be R and B. It's not gonna be hand clapping. And the band got a Jerry curl, so they might be okay. <laughs> That's a key point. And there's no head on the bottom of the drums. That's the first thing he looked at was the drums. Ah, oh, brother, there's no head on the drums. <laughs> <laughs> it's 85, so it might be all right. Really just for the cover. That cover is crazy. The cover is crazy. It's kind of dark, too. Yeah, that's a dark cover, man, but. You don't know the lady you hit was your mother. I got one more. Another African one. If someone's been doing a lot of African reissues, I highly suggest anyone that's into African music. It's like dang funk in Africa. That's what this is. <laughs> it's super funky. It's like super funky. It's uh, Shut up to dang funk. Mr. High Grades. Album's called One More Chance. I didn't even say what it was. What would you say? Gotti Oku? Oku? Gotti, yeah, Aku. Aku is real dope. Yeah, that's it right there. I'll get all these right here. 1984, so that should tell you right there. And then they'll be about two years back because their equipment's not gonna be up to 1984 standard. That's my couple picks at Amoeba today. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, we appreciate it. Thank you.